Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to download fonts to your iPad or your iPhone so that you can use them in apps like Keynote. Now I want to mention that it may seem like a lot of steps in this video, but actually the process is very, very quick. It will take you literally probably 10 to 15 seconds to download your um, font. It just seems like a lot of steps, but all you're doing is following the prompts on the screen. I promise you, you don't have to do too much thinking about it or remember too many steps. You're just following the instructions and the prompts on your screen. And I'm just going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Apple App Store. And you want to download a font of, um, I'm sorry, an app called iFont. And that's what it is right here. I already have it installed and downloaded onto my iPad. So I'm just going to tap on open here. And this is what the interface um, looks like. Now you can install fonts right from uh, iFont.com or if you have it on a if you have the font that you want to install from another website, like let's say Creative Market or Defont.com, all you have to do is tap on your browser and go to wherever you want to download your font. And then um, after you download it, so here I'm on Defont.com and I'm going to download this font here called New York. I really like this style. So I'm just going to tap on download. And then, oops. And then right here at the bottom, a little pop up will show up. I'm going to tap on download. And then I'm going to tap on open in and right at the top iFont should show up. If it's not there, then just press the button three dots here at the end. And then you would just, uh, you'll see iFont show up. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to open it in the iFont app. And it says, this pops up and it says open zip drive. I'm just going to upload uh, this font and then you tap on import to iFont. Now, it may not jump up right away if you're on a different tab. So you just look down at the tabs at the bottom and you see the one that's highlighted with the number one in red. That means that that's your, your font just uh, was installed. I'm going to tap on the font here. And then right here at the bottom, you see install. So I'm just going to tap on that. And this window pops up. And it just says this website's trying to download a configuration profile. And of course you want to allow this. So press allow because that's how you download the font. That's the profile just means the font. So I'm just going to, it's going to say review the, the profile in the settings app if you want to install it. So I will just close here. I'm just going to swipe up. It gives you instructions here as well, but um, I'm going to swipe up and go to my settings. And then right here at the top of your settings, you'll see profile. And um, I'm just going to tap where it says profile downloaded. And then I'm going to tap on install. You got to put your password in. And then you press install again. And then install again. So all you're doing is basically following prompts and then press done. And um, the New York font is right in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Keynote. And I'm going to open up a new presentation. So I'm just going to press the plus button here at the top. Tap on and choose a theme. Doesn't matter which one. I'll just do uh, this one here. Tap on this. So I'm going to just tap on one of these text boxes to delete it. And then I'm going to double tap on this one. And then I'm going to go to the paintbrush at the top just to make sure that it installed correctly. Go over to my fonts and scroll down to where I should see New York. And there it is right there, New York font. So I'll just tap on that. And then I can just type the text just to make sure everything looks good. And there you have it and your font is installed there. So that's basically how you install a font. And as I previously mentioned, it seems like quite a few steps, but all you're doing is following the prompts on your screen. As you're doing it really quickly and you get the hang of it, you literally, it'll take you like 10 seconds. All right, and so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys found it uh, helpful and um, I will see you in the next tutorial. 
If you would like to learn motion graphics, then join the waitlist for my upcoming motion design course. You can also download your free animated post templates in the description box down below.